After Dark Graphics website, graphic design, e-commerce, app development, WordPress, search engine optimization, etc. Hosting. Um, this is a quick um, how to use Talk.2 after it's been integrated into your website. Um, how to understand the dashboard and understand this simple basic uh, chat feature and what it does for your website. They're available, PHP chat, uh, Zendesk, etc. Some are paid, some are not. This is a nice free simple solution you can get on your website. Uh, they have a nice WordPress plugin. So if you go to WordPress, you're inside your dashboard. Um, you click on add new plugin. You can type in talk.2 and you'll find the plugin. Well, you need to have a da the uh, talk.2 uh, account first before you do that. So you can go on here, you can click on sign up and walk through the process that way. Uh, we've already created this uh, for our one of our uh, clients here and if you go ahead and look at the bottom of their website you'll see it says uh, let's talk offline so if I go ahead and click on this I can put my information in and then whatever email is involved with this um, will be sent to that person um, when they log on the next day um, during their normal business hours for chatting it'll change to online online and they can chat in real time with their customers um, in the event that the customer decides to um, create a chat session for them you could also initiate chats, but a lot of people don't really appreciate that. They want to look at your website first, and if they have a question, they'll contact you um, via the chat. Um, if you notice, you have the Powered uh, by Talk2 branding down there. You can actually remove that, but it is a paid service. Um, there, You have to see their existing rates. I think it's like 9 or 10 bucks a month um, for removing it, um, their branding. Um, but if you use it for free, their branding is going to stay there. Okay, so let's go ahead and close this down. Um, I'm going to go ahead and log into the dashboard uh, for Talk2. Okay, it's letting me log into the dashboard here, and if you notice, right away now it says online okay so I'm logged into the dashboard and it shows monitoring so if I click on monitoring here um, and you can look at the front of the dashboard it gives you all the statistics but monitoring shows you who's online at that time um, if you have your sound turned up it'll ping on there and go ding whatever so now if you look at this you can see it shows the IP address uh, what page they're on here and what the refer is the refer is they come from Google or from another website, they'll go ahead and show you right there where they came from. So it's nice to know where people are coming to the website. Obviously, you should be using your Google Analytics for this, but this is a nice little uh, quick telltale from when they first get to the site for you. Okay, um, next this tells me that it's using Mozilla. You can roll over this stuff and Apple, you know, computer, how long they've been on, okay? You could ban the user, so if someone is being malicious and sending things to you and being a jerk or, or they're a spammer or something, you could block them there, okay? And then uh, lastly, you have... Um, Ignore, so you can just ignore the person altogether and not, not um, block them, but you can ignore their chat requests. So if you look at messaging, it says zero, reporting admin. Messaging has zero because nobody's actually creating a chat session. So now let me go ahead and do that. So now if I go onto the front of the website, you'll notice now it says let's talk. So if I go ahead and initiate this, I'll just put in here, hello. So now I get over here and I see messaging, it also shows here. So I can either click here or I can click on this. So if I click on them, click on their name, and you go to their system. I have to go down here to join it, okay? So they want to know what it is. I joined the chat. Now I've joined it, okay? So my information will pop up. You can roll over all these items here. They give you little information about, you know, copying, transcripts, and print stuff. You could email it to yourself, email the visitor, you know, go to the visitor email. Um, you could also set up like some preset URLs. That's getting complex, but you could say, how may I help you? Help you, how may I help you, okay? Hit enter, and then it'll go ahead and send that to you. Now, if I look on the other side, I'll actually see the come right up for the actual response, okay? So it's a little faster, you know, obviously I'm in the same browser session and everything, so, and you'll see that if I log out, 
it shows the actual person's name. Um, you can actually have the business name there if you like as well. Um, and that's pretty much it. So the more messaging that you get, you can come in here and you look at messaging. It'll actually give you a breakdown of uh, what people are actually creating the message. Well, if you have a system where you're actually creating tickets for people to update things or whatever, you can create a new ticket directly from here and track it in here. But most people have their own ticketing systems that they do, and they just use chat for the initial contact, okay?